environment, whether it's recycling, turning off those extra lights and appliances, even using a bike instead of a car. Researchers say it is the small steps that can make the big differences. But what about where you work? What is being done to go green at your place of business? Hilary Cusel is a former consultant and uh, Accenture. Accenture. Accenture and manager with GE Capital Medical Systems. She's now the executive director and co-founder of Green Business Alliance, a joint effort to get businesses what they say is greenified. Hi, Hillary. Good morning, Bob. What is greenified exactly? Greenified means adopting environmentally sensitive business practices. Now, we've been, uh, it's been drilled into us as consumers and as uh, news people, we do it all the time, how to go green at your house. You right. Know, you can do the light bulb thing. Uh, you, know, you can do the thing where you make your uh, air conditioner warmer. You right. You can run your pool pump less. There's a million things we've been told uh, to change, how to change at the house level. Uh, we've been told what we can do with our cars and speed and things like that. What does a business do and who is the one, the person that drives that? The management or the employees? The managements make the decisions to go ahead and take the initiative to greenify their business. And then they need the employees to help them implement the different tasks that we've set forth for them to become a greenified company. Now, what does it do for a company to decide to go green? Other than, obviously, to save the environment. Are there other issues right. involved? Yes, with going, with obviously greenifying. saving the environment would be the first and most important one. Right. But after that, it makes the co a business's workplace more healthy, healthier. It can improve mo employee morale. It sets them apart in the competitive markets. You know, at this point in time, it's getting harder and harder for some businesses to make a sale. And to say that they are a green company, consumers are using that as part of their purchasing decision these days. All right, if employees work for a company that, that they think is, is wasteful and, mm -hmm. and not good to the environment, do they have... Uh, 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 something that they can do to kind of force management into greenifying? Absolutely. I would recommend that they visit our website at www.greenbusinessalliance.com and go on there and there's some reasons why to go green and then how to take the business green. And if they take that to management, um, they make the decision to enroll in the program, we send them the guidelines. And once they have those guidelines and they implement them, then they are a greenified business. Okay. You, you take the lead in, in basically telling or advising a company what to do yes. to go green. Yes. All right. Let's hear some of the advice. I mean, what are some of the things that you want these businesses, small and large, by the way? Small and large and all over the country. All right. What, what do you advise are some of the initial things a company can do to greenify? Our guidelines um, are broken into about six different categories, encompassing copying and printing, um, some of your general office habits, things that you can do in the kitchen, the break room and the bathrooms, things that cover the outside areas, purchasing renewable well, energy I'd like, you to be, I'd like you to be specific in some of these areas. Specifically, in, okay. pick a couple of areas and tell me what you would tell the company to do. Okay, in your copying and printing mm -hmm. efforts. If you have to make a copy or you have to print out a document, try double-sided printing. Use recycled paper. Set up a recycling program within your office space, you know, to make use of that um, shredded paper, things that you're shredding, and then the documents that you're throwing out. Um, if you're going, if you have a kitchen room and you have styrofoam cups right now, have people bring in the coffee mugs. Have water glasses or water bottles being used so that you're not wasteful in the kitchen area. Um, use e-fax. That way all, everything that comes to the fax machine doesn't have to be printed out. Uh, what, about, what about the employee bathrooms? In the employee bathrooms, you want to go move away from um, any of the paper products that you have to have. You want to use recycled if possible, hand, the hand dryers instead of, you know, paper that's coming out of the machines. Um, you don't, you want to get away from the aerosols um, as, as much as possible. And I guess if going, uh, getting rid of the, of the paper that you can get rid of, the, the hand towels, for example, uh, not only saves, helps to save the environment, it makes for a probably cleaner bathroom. Right. Less messy. Yes, less messy, absolutely. Now, what about those who believe that going green costs a lot of green? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't always um, end up costing that much green. And there's some efforts, you know, recycling paper, it may cost 10 cents a ream more to buy that recycled paper, but you're going to save money in other areas. And if you're changing out the light bulbs or you're not using the disposable cups, that's going to save you money at the end for the business. So what, does a company go to you and sign a contract and say, okay, we're ready, greenify us? A company would go to our website. They would click on the Enroll Now button, fill out some, a brief membership um, information, and then we will send them the guidelines 
they implement those guidelines, they make us aware of that. Um, upon our review and acceptance, they are greenified. They are placed in the green visibility directory with their company URL and phone number. They receive um, the personalized plaque, a custom press release for their distribution. They receive the wristbands, lapel pins that all say that they're greenified. And they also get the, the um, Green Business Alliance greenified seal for use on their websites and in their marketing materials and letterhead. Cool. Hillary Kusel, thanks very much for uh, enlightening us on all this. To learn more about Thank the you. Green Business Alliance or how you can become a partner, log on to NBC6.net. Just click on As Seen on NBC6 and we'll connect you with Hillary's people. Now, while you're there, check out our past Going Green reports and get energy and money-saving tips. Just click on Going Green tab.